as well makeup everyone my name is Miska Johan and I'm a modest fashion designer and influencer in today's video we're gonna be talking about the modest fashion trends of 2019 before I get started I do want to put a disclaimer out there saying that yes I am aware that the hijab is not a trend it's been happening for yeah, a long time now so it's not a trend it's something that's here to stay uh, we're just talking about the modest fashion trends which is like the way that people dress I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because sometimes people get mad whenever I talk about that so yeah okay so now that that's over we're gonna get into the fun stuff and we're gonna be talking about things that we might see this year in 2019 these are just predictions based on what I've seen on Instagram what I've seen in the stores lately and it's just gonna be a fun little chat so if you've noticed any trends that I don't talk about in this video please leave them in the comment section I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say so first things first I think that what's really great about 2019 is that we are starting to see some brands create more modest lines like even in the regular stores I think that a lot of companies are starting to see that you know maybe we want less clothes with cutouts and sheer material um, I found it a little bit easier to shop at just like regular high street stores and find options that will fit my needs as a modest dresser so yeah we are starting to see that a little bit but I mean even still it's not as modest fashion is not as accessible as it should be right with that being said I'm really enjoying seeing all of these like Instagrammers these bloggers who were you know dressing really modestly like mashallah they look so good and well put together and they see like what's happening right now and they'll you know they'll, they'll take whatever is on trend and they'll work with it to fit really well into their modest wardrobe so that's been really fun to see and yeah we're just gonna be talking about the things that i've observed so first thing is that i think that we are, we're gonna see three major movements in 2019 in regards of modest fashion trends these movements have been happening for quite a while they're not you know necessarily new but i think it's always nice to like be able to point to a trend and be like yeah that's happening right now so uh, the first thing is that texture is really in anything that has some sort of a something that you could feel with your eyes that's really in right now denim has always been on trend but it really is right now any sort of like brushed material what else oh shearling shearling coats they're often referred to as teddy coats those are really in right now I've seen a few in the stores but I haven't really like loved any of them but you know maybe I'll warm up to it eventually it doesn't really get that cold here in Houston sometimes it does so I think I might have to skip out on that one because I probably wouldn't make a lot of use out of it we are seeing these really nice like chunky sweaters with like rib knit material it's just really fun to see that texture has really made a big Point of focus so the second thing we're gonna be talking about is minimalism which has been happening for a while but I think that we're really gonna get into that this year what's interesting about modest fashion is that even now it's still pretty regional um, most people just want to dress the way that everyone around them is dressing just because it's easier to find those clothes and it's like the norm it's the standard however I think that because modest fashion is becoming a bit more accessible through online shops and all of these like local shops popping up here and there a lot of hijabis a lot of modest dressers are looking to find more uh, modern options they'll be able to take them pretty much anywhere and it's just like a really nice thing to have in your wardrobe you know clothing options that will fit multiple scenarios so if i'm going to the grocery store if i'm picking my kid up from school going to a party i want options that will address all those situations and i think we're seeing a lot less you know regional styles and we're gonna see like a more simpler style like for example this dress that i'm wearing it's like a mock neck really long dress that goes just above the knees but it's like really loose very simple very minimalist and for me this is what i find appealing because i can literally wear it anywhere so yeah we're seeing a lot more minimalism it's not just about practicality though there is like a, an aesthetic to it there's something a bit luxurious about wearing an outfit that's so simple like I I feel so luxurious wearing like a simple black dress because it makes me look more put together makes me feel more chic and it allows me to have a little bit more fun with my accessories my hijab by the way this hijab is one of my um scarves that I'll be releasing in my collection so stay tuned for that I'm really excited about it so yeah that's all I have to say about minimalism the next thing we're gonna be talking about is comfort I really love to dress modestly because it's comfortable I don't have to worry about 
half the things that a lot of women worry about when they dress with very body contouring styles. So comfort has always been in when it comes to modest fashion, but um, we're seeing like a whole nother level. So one thing that I talked about earlier is the teddy coats, which is like the shearling material. It really looks like they took the material from a teddy bear and just use it to make a coat. And it's super, there's something super luxurious about it because it looks so comfortable that whenever I see it, like on my feed, or if I see someone walking across the street wearing it, like there's just something about it that you're like, oh man, I would feel so comfortable wearing that. But at the same time, like I would look so cute wearing it as well. So I think that's the whole reason why people are really pushing towards wearing more comfortable items. We're seeing a bunch of these like really chunky, like nurse sneakers happening right now. Um, I think there's like a luxury brand or two that's released their own line of dad sneakers, nurse sneakers. And they're just, they're just these really big, white, bulky sneakers that um, I don't see myself wearing, but I've seen a lot of bloggers wearing them and they look pretty cute, so. All right, so going along with that. So there are two other things that I wanna talk about when it comes to modest fashion trends. And one is the amazing level of accessibility we've achieved when it comes to trousers. When I first started dressing in full hijab um i had a hard time finding pants i had a hard time finding you know jeans or trousers that would not be skinny <laughs> yeah we're seeing a lot more accessibility finding wider leg trousers because that's in right now so if you haven't picked up any wide trousers any wide leg pants now is the time to go to the store buy a few pairs so that way you have them in stock because whenever they go out of trend, which would be a really sad day, you'll at least have some on hand. Um, I think it's really cool that the mainstream fashion world is wearing wider legged pants just because it makes it easier for us because it's hard to shop for pants. Like you really have to know how it's gonna fit on your body. If you guys are looking for good trousers or pants, like I would highly suggest Poshmark. And if you know your inseam, and also like if you know what brands fit you best, you can just look it up on Poshmark and find like a really good deal. It's nice because you're thrifting, it's saving the environment a little bit and you get a good price out of it. You can find like really good deals on that site. I think most of my wardrobe is from Poshmark now. So the last trend that I've been seeing and you know, this has been happening for a while, but lately I've been seeing it a lot more and it's just the most satisfying thing to look at um, is hijabis and like full on power suits. Like every time I see a hijabi wearing, you know, like a full like tailored blazer pantsuit sort of situation, it's just like, it's, it's fire for me. Every time I see that, I'm like, yes, heart, comment, you look amazing, you look like fire, you are, the best thing in the world. I, I just love to see like powerful hijabis. That is the most satisfying thing in the world. You're like, yes, this girl is making moves. She's taking over the world. She's not giving in to what other people are saying about her and she's not taking no for an answer. So yeah, but I love to see hijabis in power suits. It's one of the best things ever. And, and I really need to get some for my own wardrobe, so. Yeah. All right, so that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any trends that you've been seeing that I didn't talk about in this video, feel free to write them in the comment section. And yes, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.